Alrighty, this is the latest look at our demo. Uh, this is a few days before we actually release our demo to the backers, and this is what it looks like. So um, we have a get started and a login button. The login doesn't do anything yet because we are just getting started. Um, right now, Spanish is our available language for the demo, uh, and it will ask you, are you new to Spanish? This will start determining uh, what kinds of functionality you'll see in the app, uh, whether we're just going to expose you to simple words and simple pictures or start you know, pushing you into sentences and stuff like that. So I'm going to say I'm not new to Spanish, just so I can show you the most stuff. Uh, and we can sort of choose between simple sentences or complex sentences uh, to have a different kind of experience. Um, we're trying to sort of determine, are you a beginner student, intermediate, or an advanced student? Uh, and so I'm going to go for intermediate just so that we can see the most stuff. Um, and so the first thing that you see in this demo is uh, the home screen. The home screen is on the far left and uh, it's going to ask you to create your flashcard deck. I've shown you the uh, pronunciation stuff last time, and so I'll sort of skip through that, uh, and we'll jump straight to making a picture card and then a sentence card. So, uh, picture cards. Tierra. Um, over here, I'm going to choose my favorite tierra, uh, and I guess I'm going to choose hmm, this one over here. I'll add an image, and here is my preview screen. I can make no cards, or I can make two cards. Um, the two cards I can create, I can tap over there. I'm going to tap on the previews, and it will show me what the cards look like. So uh, it's either going to ask me what the word is for this picture, uh, or it will ask me, what is this thing, tierra? Uh, and so that's what the front sides of these cards look like. I'm going to add them both to my deck, and I have added some cards to my deck. Um, next, I'm going to make some sentence cards. I'm going to make sentence cards for, let's say, arriba. Um, and let's see, now I have some options here. Las llaves están arriba, the keys are up top, um, the boy looked upwards to see the birds. We're fixing the capitalization thing a little later. Uh, we have this like super complicated sentence uh, about the paragraphs above. Uh, I'm going to look about these uh, birds. Um, and so I have now actual Google search results. Um, and I'm going to go for, let's see, the boy looked upwards. I guess I'm going to just go for arrow up. Um, and uh, we'll go over that. Um, and at this point, now I'm making a bunch of cards. Um, I'm going to be making a word order card, uh, which is going to be interesting. Where does arriba go in this sentence? Uh, el niño miró arriba, or arriba miró. Like, what's the correct answer here? That's an interesting fact over here. Uh, and also, we have a fill in the blank. Um, and again, we're fixing the capitalization stuff. Uh, and also, what is this, arriba? Um, so. I'm going to make those cards. We'll talk about dictionary form in the next build. Uh, I'm add those to deck. And then I can decide, um, I can look at sentences and see what words I know already. And so we're going to, they're going to de-emphasize or we're going to de-emphasize words uh, that you know already. And so if I want to learn more words from this same sentence, then I can say, well, the pájaros, that's interesting. That's, that's, that's a set of words I don't know. So let's use, let's learn pájaros, uh, birds. And so it's going to search up for some birds. Uh, I think these are really pretty, so I'm going to choose those birds. Um, I'm going to add those images. I will choose a dictionary form card. What it's going to ask me is what's the dictionary form for this missing word. Uh, in this case, it's uh, pájaro, one bird, uh, not pájaros. Um, there's actually, it's going to make two cards here in the next fix. Uh, and so it is adding five cards, but it's only showing four right here. Um, we have, I don't think I need a word order card. I don't think I'm interested in where that shows up in the sentence because I think it's kind of clear for me. It's los pájaros. Um, and I think that's it. I'm going to make three cards here. Uh, then, let's see, any other words I don't know? Um, para ver. That's interesting. Para. Uh, this particular usage of para is interesting to El me. Niño miró um, arriba this, para the ver pictures los that are being selected here, these are pictures for... Uh, Words that are appropriate for this sentence, because like, what does para look like? Like, what two? Like, it doesn't look like anything. It's an abstract word. Um, but in this particular story, it's about a boy looking upwards and seeing some birds. And these are the birds that are highest up in the sky. I'm gonna choose these. Um, and so that's gonna be my usage of para. Um, I don't think I need the word order card. I think I just want to have something that asks me what's the right preposition here, um, and what does para mean. Uh, and I think I think I'm done with this sentence. Uh, miro. I mean, miro is interesting because uh, it's the past tense of to see, mirar. El niño miró um, arriba para ver los pájaros. <laughs> interesting pictures for to see. I'm going to choose this crazy, like, abstract one about eyes. Um, 
which I think is by an artist by the same name. Uh, I will choose a dictionary form card here because I'm interested in the actual infinitive of this, this verb. Uh, and in the next build, I'm going to be able to see the infinitive on this screen, not the next one. I'm going to add those to the deck, and I am done with this sentence. Um, and I think I'm going to say that I already know Cielo, and I already know Luna. And we're going to get to the completion screen, actually. I'm going to skip the word uno. I don't really care about that one. Blanco, I know already. Uh, Estrella. We're going to mark that one as known. Punto. We'll mark that one as known. And it's going to say, nice job. You did all the words. And that's sort of our congratulations. Um, and at this point, I'm going to jump over to reviews. I've made some cards. Uh, we'll start hopefully seeing autoplay on these sounds. Swipe to the left to make them known. Uh, para. So, para ver. Para, para. This is to to see, to do things. Um, para ver. Uh, so we don't have autoplay on the audio yet, but in either case, uh, this one I got, so we'll mark that as correct. What is mirar? So yes, awesome, the dictionary form cards are working. Uh, mirar is the infinitive of uh, that miro card. Uh, he saw it, um, and I'm thinking about this boy looking up and seeing these birds. Um, and so el niño miró arriba para ver. Uh, yep, I got that one right. Um, el niño miró. This was the past tense of that. So I'm going to get that one right. Uh, arriba. El niño miró. Where is it form in the sentence? It lands right after miró. Uh, miró arriba. And I'm correct. I'm going to mark that as right. Um, el niño miró. Oh, wait. It was asking about the dictionary form. Uh, and so that one is asking about what is mirar? What is the, the infinitive? Um, and so oops, that one I got wrong, actually. <laughs> oops. Uh, we have an oops button in the next, uh, this will be after the demo, we'll have an oops button that allows you to say, oops, I, I said I got it right, but I actually got it wrong. Uh, miro is the past tense of mirar. Uh, pájaro, that's the dictionary form, that's a singular bird. Uh, niño miro arriba para ver los pájaros. This is actually kind of fun. I haven't actually seen it like in use, use, use. Uh, para los uh, pájaros, yeah, but one singular dictionary form, that's pájaro. Uh, and so I got that one right. Um, the word for this picture is tierra. And I got that one right. Pájaros is plural of birds. Pájaro, yep. Uh, fill in the blank. Para los pájaros. We're going to mess with the order a little bit later. Uh, we'll randomize a little bit more. Niño miró arriba para ver. Para, yep. Uh, arriba is uh, looking up at the birds. Uh, tierra, that's the earth. Uh, ni miró. Arriba, yeah. Um, and I think we are done. Nice job we created. And then if I wanted to, I could create more cards or I can say I'm all done. Um, and so that, it's like doing all the things. So that's that's what we get to do here. Um, other functionality in this particular demo. Um, in this particular demo, since we are only doing Spanish, like you can try and add other languages, but there's nothing else to add. Um, the other thing I want you to be aware of is this settings button on the top right. This will enter settings. Uh, but for now, since it's under construction, it's going to have two options here in the demo that you're going to get to play with. The first one is important. It resets everything so that you can try it again. You can try out the beginner flow, and you can see what that's like. You can try out the intermediate flow, the advanced flow. You can see what all the different parts of the app are. And so if you reset this thing, it's going to start the app over from scratch. Um, the other thing that you will be able to do here is access our support and report bugs, uh, hopefully, if we can get that working. Uh, contact our support. Let us know what's what's going on. What would you like us to change? Um, just be aware that we are going to be getting a lot of emails from you folks. and so. Uh, please be patient on that front. So that's it. Um, I'm going to reset my memory. No, I won't. I'm going to go back. I'm actually pretty happy with those cards. Um, that's all for now. Um, the, the sections of this app, we have Home that tells you what to do next. We have Create, uh, which I've finished. Uh, we have Review, which I've also finished, uh, though I actually should say it's finished. Uh, and then we have Explore, which is the last tab, which allows you to go find new sentences and find new words to learn. Um, but that one we're still designing, so that one's coming soon. That's all. Thanks so much.